Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be reviewing my two Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. Now I know it may look a little obsessive that I have two of the same box as well as all my other boxes that I do have but I do have a valid reasoning for getting two. You get five to six products and the cost is $25 so not a bad deal at all. And it's a subscription brand we all know and trust. So when they finally did come out with the full size box, the products were amazing. I am blown away at the products they have been putting in these boxes. And after getting a couple good boxes, I thought to myself, what if I get a bad box like one month, but there was good options displayed, just somebody else got them. Obviously, like I didn't get the variation that I would have wanted. And... I already had two Ipsy bags, and the one I upgraded was my first Glam Bag Plus. So I kept my normal $10 sample size bag, because you would get some full-size products here and there. So one day I got an email saying that I could upgrade my other bag to a Glam Bag Plus. So I went to click the button in the email, and then it would take me to the Ipsy website, but it wasn't letting me upgrade to the Glam Bag Plus for that one. So I just emailed customer service and I was like, hey, it told me that I could upgrade and it didn't let me. Can you just help me out? So the lady emailed me back and she put me on the waiting list. And then boom, next month I got my second Glam Bag Plus. So now for me, I'm like fingers crossed that like my logic goes through. And like if I get some stuff in a box that I don't want, maybe I'll have like those good items in my second box. Now Ipsy also came out with a great idea you can add on products for like an extra $3. So I have been utilizing that every month. Thank you for that, Ipsy. Okay, so here is box number one. I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you guys. Now I already know what I got in my boxes because the second Ipsy sends that email, spoiler alert, do you wanna see what you got in your box? Yes, I do. So nothing in here is really a surprise, but I still love opening it. So the first thing in here is a Paris Hilton Pro DNA Advanced Skincare System Dual Action Cleansing Gel. I actually opened up box number two earlier because I really needed a cleanser to wash my face this morning. I was super skeptical of using a Paris Hilton facial cleanser. I didn't even know she made skincare products. And I'm, I wouldn't say picky about my products but I have been trying to up my skincare game because I have not been the best at taking care of my skin in the past especially in middle school and high school Ugh. but now I am trying to take better care of it and this just seemed really wonky to me first of all here's the packaging it's honestly super cute I'm not even gonna lie to you it's like a matte black and it's like a rose gold engraving for the words so here is what the bottle looks like so basically, it's a $29 cleansing gel to use morning and night, squeeze a small amount of cleanser into your palm, and add water to lather. Massage onto your face, neck, and decollete into a circular motion. Rinse, pat, dry, and snap a glowy selfie. Now, I did notice when I used this earlier, the gel had like some glitter in it. I was like concerned. I'm like, great, Paris Hilton is putting glitter in my freaking face wash. How is that safe and how is that helpful? And then it also smelled pretty good, but then I'm like, great, now she's using fragrances in the cleansing wash. This is just perfect. Why am I not surprised? So I did go and read the reviews on what people thought of this product, and it had a lot of five-star reviews. I was shook. A lot of people were using the word magical for this face wash. Magical? Well, I'm going to keep using this morning and night, and we're going to see how magical it truly is. A lot of people were saying that it was helping with their acne, their skin felt soft and smooth, and they looked bright. And apparently there's like gold flecks in here. Hopefully I end up seeing the magicalness to this cleanser. I did get the cleansers in both boxes, so let me just go ahead and start opening box two and just do it at the same time for you guys. So here's my second cleanser. So, one... And two. Okay, so the second item I'm pulling out of box one is this Benefit Cosmetics High Brow Pencil. It's a eyebrow highlighting pencil. 
So here's the packaging, super cute. So here's the product itself, it's super, super cute. I've always loved Benefit Cosmetics packaging as well. So there's a swatch for you guys, it's honestly pretty pink i don't know how i feel about that if i am trying to use this specifically around my brows to just help sculpt it and brighten it a little bit i don't know if i want it to be a pink hue but i'll test it out and i'll see how this goes and just so you guys know the product card says that it is valued at 22 dollars and it is a full size item so i just went into box number two and got two of them all right so this is item number three in box number one I'm not sure if I'm going to say this right, but just bear with me. It is the Gold Faden MD Bright Eyes Eye Cream. So here's the packaging for the product. Here's the product itself. I really don't use under eye creams or serums. My under eyes, I don't have dark circles. I really don't have puffiness. But I think I should start incorporating this into my routine. I am 21 and doing more makeup and just pulling at my face more. And I just think it's a good preventative as well, so I will be trying this out. So the value of this is $55. It says to apply one drop in a patting motion using your ring finger. Well, that's pretty specific. For fast results, use morning and night on clean skin. Well, there you go, guys. Use your ring finger and use it morning and night if you want fast results. All right, so I'm going into box number two right now, and here is my third item for that box. So no, I did not get two eye creams. Thank God. So this is the Feel Beauty Balance Moisturizer Balancing Cream. This is what the product looks like up close. Now, I just got a moisturizer in both my glam boxes last month so i kind of really didn't need another one and need an even bigger one but basically this looks like it's supposed to be a moisturizer that works for both your face and your body i don't know how i feel about that because i feel like things for my body are supposed to stay like on my lower body and stuff for my face it's supposed to stay on my face Oh, so this has cucumber, lime, and elder tree extract. Well, I am a huge lover of cucumber, so that's kind of cool. I hope it smells like cucumber. Let's actually find out. <laughs> okay, so no, it doesn't smell like cucumber, but it does smell... It smells like a body lotion. That's just what it reminds me of, like that typical body cream smell if you guys know what I'm talking about like it's not a bad smell Ugh, it just makes me think it's more for the body and the value of this item is $28 it says apply this moisturizer to your face and body right after you get out of the shower it literally put in quotations in your still steamy bathroom well okay to lock in hydration use it daily to keep the skin soft and smooth well there you have it Make sure you use this right after the shower in your still steamy bathroom and it will lock in all your hydration concerns. All right, so this next item I did get in both of my boxes. It is the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush. Now I was reading on their website what this brush is good for because I have so many contour brushes, I have so many powder brushes, I have so many face brushes and I don't really like using face brushes for my foundation and blending in because I feel like it looks a little streaky sometimes. So I'm like, what else could I use this for? And it actually says this is good for rubbing in your skincare product. This is what the cute little tube looks like. Wow, nails really make your life so much more difficult. Okay, so this brush retails for $48. You don't need an entire drawer of makeup brushes when you have one that does it all. Not only does this brush give makeup products an airbrushed finish, blurring away the appearance of fine lines and pores, it also applies skincare like a dream. And it says, for your skin but better effect, dot foundation on the areas that need the most coverage, lightly buffing foundation outward in a circular motion for a diffused, flawless finish. Well, maybe I'll use one brush for my skincare and one for my makeup so i can kind of see how it works both ways maybe i'll do a video on that for you guys let me know what you guys think of that idea but yeah i do really actually want to use this for skincare because i mean it says it's good for skincare so why not 
Alright, so the fifth and final item I got in actually both of my boxes is this eyeshadow palette. It's Laura Sanchez Moods palette. I am obsessed with this packaging. I love psychedelic looking things, especially on makeup. Ooh, look, it's different from this. I actually kind of like this one a little more. Here is the front of the eyeshadow palette. I am in love with this. And here's the back of it. This is so cool to me, you guys. Now, I'm going to be quite honest, you guys. I really wasn't excited to get this palette. Specifically because I have a couple other palettes that have colors in them. And I just felt like this was kind of like an okay palette. So here are the colors. These are all matte shades and these are all shimmers. And it looks like it has two highlighting shades down here. One's white and one's more of like a rosy gold. There's the green shade. I actually like that a lot. I'm actually kind of living for these shimmers. Oh, I like that. I'm going to swatch this one highlighter for you guys. It's the more rosy highlighter. So there are the shades for you guys. They are super creamy and they are perfectly pigmented. I really like how these swatched. Hopefully they work the same on the eye. I guess we're just going to have to use it and see what it's like. Like I said, I did get that palette. Oh, hello. But I did get that palette in both of my boxes. Okay, so I'm going to go through the add-ons I added in box number one. I added on a mini It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer. So here's what the little Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer looks like. Super cute, but there's actually a lot of product in here. The size, I'm not even mad about because it is only $3. And I've noticed with the It Cosmetics Under Eye Concealer, a dab goes the longest way with this concealer. I am obsessed with how far it goes. And you save so much product. You don't even have to score and like line your whole eye with this. You literally just squeeze, squeeze, and it covers this whole area like magic. Okay, so the next item I got was the, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, the Pearlice Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. Here's what the bottle looks like up close. I've heard a lot of good things about this brand and specifically the watermelon products. So I honestly added it on because I really want to know what all the hype is about. I actually added on another product from them, but it's not the same exact thing. This one is the Watermelon Energizing 2-Minute Polishing Peel. This is what this looks like up close. Apparently, I'm missing items from my second box. One I know for sure is the Luxie brush i redeemed with my points i've redeemed that item i think after they already created my april's box but when that happens and i want to redeem an item they just sip it out with the next box but i did not receive the brush in this box but i also noticed i'm missing my add-ons that i actually added on when they first sent me the spoilers and the add-on options this month so i added on another of the it cosmetics bottles because why not? And I also added on a full-size Huda Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick. But yeah, I'm actually super disappointed that they left out not only two items that I paid for, but also an item that I redeemed a month ago. Like, that's not acceptable at all. But they did say that they are sending them to me. They noticed it before I had a chance to notice it, so I am super happy that their customer service was on that. I'm just disappointed that it happened in the first place, but it happens. People make mistakes, you know. Just so you guys know, I just finished a video putting this whole look together. I used everything for my Tri Beauty Box. So if you guys want to see that video, go head over to my Instagram. I'll link it right here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox two of my Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. The last thing I'm waiting on to get here is my Allura Beauty Box. That's it for the video. I hope you guys have a great day. Mwah.